My favorite story of 2016 was about a group of clowns in Finland who have taken a stand against some racist thugs who call themselves the Soldiers of Odin. Now, these guys go out at night on patrol wearing combat boots and black jackets. And they tell people they're protecting them from, quote, dangerous migrants. Now, what the clowns do is they tag along, they make a lot of noise, they make fun of them, they try to kill them with love and kindness. And what they do is they use humor to make them look ridiculous. And they understand that this is a deeply serious issue. We spoke to them about it, but what I like about them is that they understand that Sometimes humor is the best weapon against injustice. I chose this debunking story about a fake Muslim army that's invading Europe's borders because it is just one of hundreds of fake news stories being used to stir up xenophobia and hatred. Something tells me we're going to be seeing a lot more of these kinds of stories in the fallout from 2016, and I think it's so important to be able to separate fact from fiction. For me, the subject of the year of observers is the cartable solar of Varista Koumian in Côte d'Ivoire. Tout simplement parce que c'est une petite idée locale qui a permis d'aider des centaines d'enfants en Côte d'Ivoire qui n'avaient pas accès à l'électricité. Alors on espère que cette idée ira loin et on est très heureux de l'avoir aidé à trouver des partenaires grâce à notre article sur les observateurs. My favorite story in 2016 is about Sabah Hosseini, an Afghan teacher in Afghanistan, where children have little access to literature, even in big cities, let alone remote areas that are hard to reach in four-wheel drive. Books are an extremely rare commodity. But this hero Saber is trying to change that with riding his bicycle loaded with boxes of kids' books to isolated villages, despite threats by the Taliban.